Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to make a lightsaber from a long fluorescent tube and a uh, insect zapper. This is the first in the world ever being made using these two items. Um, and you got to see to believe it. It's actually very cool. It's probably better than the LED um, light that you buy, you know, the... Uh, from the Star Wars, but this is actually, it feels just right, the weight, and the light source is the fluorescent light tube. Now notice I have a plastic insulator to protect it from, you know, breaking. You don't want to hit too hard, of course, but, you know, you can touch each other lightly like this, and it shouldn't break. I put a uh, hot glue all over the place, and insulator tape, and it feels really good. Anyway, let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. You need a insect zapper device like this one. What you want to do is you want to take it apart. There's about four or five screws you need to remove. Once you remove it, you want to keep some of the part. For example, the head that has a aluminum mesh. I'm going to use a aluminum mesh for some other products. You can check back later on. I'm going to make a heater stove, use a for heater else. stove, a chocolate photo heater stove. The second device you will need is um, the fluorescent tube, a long tube. This is a 21 inch. It runs uh, about 13 watt of power, but we're not going to use that much power to run this uh, lightsaber. You also need this um, plastic tube I got from a bubble uh, machine or bubble device at a dollar store. Yeah, it cost me I think about two or three bucks. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Um, you don't have to spend so much money doing these projects. Okay, so I had a little fun of it. So you can see I was testing, playing with the bubble. Yeah, it's quite fun. So I'm going to use these wire to um, wire up my uh, lightsaber. Let's test it out. See what... Perfect. 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 Okay, so you can see the circuit. So there are the blue and the red um, wire that's currently uh, soldered in. But what we're going to do is we're going to move this blue wire and place it right between neither this one or this one. I would say this one. You don't want to put it here because uh, that will short circuit the uh, system. So what we're going to do is move this blue wire and move it here, we'll resolder here. And then the, these two uh, terminal will then be hooked up to the ter two terminal end of the uh, long um, fluorescent light bulb. Okay, we're going to desolder the blue wires. There we go. And we're going to put it right there. Just need one wire actually. Go. Maybe add a bit more solder. There we go. Perfect. Quite simple. So now you can have a look. Okay, so I move the blue wire and place it right in the middle, right there. And now we should be fine. What we want to do is to measure how long the tube is, and we need uh, at least that long. Okay. So I would go, you know, a couple more inch. Okay, so that's that length, and then add a couple more inch to it, just in case. 
you can always cut it out later. So probably about this long. Okay, so there's a tube. Right? And we're gonna add a few more inch, maybe about three inches more. You can always cut it up later. Okay, there it is. Wire stripped it. Perfect. Nice. Great. Don't throw any of the wires away. You will need it for all these projects save so much money. You know how much it costs these wires? If you to buy in the store, you'd be surprised. It's at least like a couple bucks. I would say it's four or five bucks. And these are, you know, don't recycle it and reuse it if you, you know, don't just recycle it. I mean, reuse it. It's better than recycle because recycle, you don't know what they do with them. You know, end up dumping them and, you know, you know if they were to melt it down, whatever, it still require more heat and energy and again, think about that's still not saving the environment in some way whereas this we can reuse it and make other things right okay so this is uh, wired just to test it out okay so you can see um, the blue and red wire and then I um, put an insulator tape between uh, the long wire that I used from the Christmas light okay, you can see that it's a bit messy here but here we go. Let's put the two battery in and test it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder it in. Okay. But we need always to test it out first to set, make sure the circuit is is uh, okay. It's uh, there we go. It works well. Okay, good. So now I'm going to solder these wire in there. Okay. So it was it was loose. It was just uh, you know when I was clamping it down to make sure that it was working. So. So I guess it's okay now. Just try one more time. Yeah, this everything's good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna solder it in. No. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Again, always test the circuit. If it's the first time that you did the circuit, so far so good. Okay, so now we're gonna put this uh, long fluorescent tube into this plastic long tube. This is from the soap bubble uh, device. Okay. There we go. Okay, something like this. Now I might want to drill a hole here to bring it out. I'm not sure yet, but let's see. Maybe I'll do that because uh, let's see how I want. Yeah, it might be a little bit too short. Okay. But okay, I'm gonna drill a hole into this uh, plastic tube because it was too short. So I'm gonna um, allow the tube, the fluorescent long tube, to come out. So what we're going to do is just use a hand drill and drill it in. Okay, so I made a hole, but it's not big enough, so I'm going to use a, a rotary drill to increase the size. Just going to drill it in. Okay, let's see if this can fit. Okay, it needs to be slightly bigger because it doesn't fit yet. That's pretty good, yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I need to um, hot glue the wire. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, I'm going to hot glue the long wire. Just for the looks, right? It just looks, uh, you want it to be on one side. So if 
first one hot glue the top here. See the wires going down towards the end of the tube. So I hot glue the whole thing down, keeping it on one side. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, hot glue around the end, right? A very thick one to give it a cushion. So you notice there's a um, there's a plastic, then there's air between, and then there is the uh, lesson tube. So when it hits right a surface I mean not not uh, no hard but light you know light and medium you know about a couple of pound per inch right um, it shouldn't break the um, rest and light tube and that's what we want okay okay I'm gonna move a um, one end of the screw here plastic joint I'm gonna cut that off so that I can fit the uh, rest and tube into it this is in a way okay, just cut it off Okay, I'm going to have to use a uh, rudy tool to cut it out. Okay, so far so good. We're going to gonna hot glue it and then we're going to screw it in. So, do something like this. Okay, the circuit is working well. Just you can test it one more time. Oh, cool. We're almost done. I just need to uh, wait until the hot glue is dry, and then I use a um, insulator tape, a black one, to wrap around that, and it is completed. My lightsaber. It cost me less than thirty bucks to do, to make one, and a couple hours. But there we have it. A lightsaber made from uh, insect zapper and some plastic uh, tube from the bubbles and the uh, fluorescent long tube that's about it and a few of course and a few Christmas wire but other than that and hot glue of course and tapes and we're done there we go the tape is pretty solid feels feels really good actually feels like a blade you know like a real wow uh, you gotta feel this thing this is feels like a lightsaber. Well, I don't ever I don't know what lightsaber feel like, but it feels solid. It feels just right. Okay. Let's put on that battery. Oh ho ho ho. There you have it. <laughs> yeah! Now the only thing of course is the sound, but I think it's to make that sound up, but this feels good. This feels... Oh yeah, but you don't want to hit too hard of course, you know. You might break the uh, fluorescent light, but still, it's amazing. All right, there we go. It's finished. Feels solid using fluorescent light. It feels actually feels like a lightsaber. Mm. Cool. EducateTube.com. Luke joined the force. Never!